it's a wee bit overwhelming getting a new camera, I have to say. I'm sitting here testing out my FX30, which came on Friday. It's now Tuesday, and I've been putting off doing this because I've not really had the time, to be honest. But we're here now, and I've been watching videos to try and figure out how to use Cine EI, what it means, how to use S-Log. But that's what I got it for, so I've got to practice. So what I could do is just get on here every day and figure it out, you know. It's telling me I'm one stop overexposed. So we'll see how that looks. Anyway, cheers everybody. Here's to a cup of coffee in the morning. Absolutely delightful. So I had a chat last night with my wife. She's been a bit stressed with work. And we got talking about YouTube and stuff. And how I've been working on YouTube now for what, a year, two, two and a half years. Let's say November was PTYA 2020. So I, December, January, February, March, April, May, two and a half years. Since I did Ali Abdul's part-time YouTuber Academy first cohort. And I've been showing up and I've been figuring things out. I'm now running five channels. And hoping that I can start making money at some point. Well I say start, I have started making money on the marketing channel and on the Serenity or the Chilled Scotland channel. But I'm not breaking even because I've got costs for the marketing channel, which is purely business, as a business channel, exclusively. And I haven't been putting out as much content as I would like on there. So it's a struggle, you know, and I'm trying to remain positive. And that's what came up last night in the conversation. Because she was like, it's been over two years now, what's happening and I was like I still believe I still believe that it can actually yield some revenue for us and potentially become my job so that's I've got to keep that faith haven't I otherwise what's it all about mental health wise it's good because it's something I really enjoy doing it's just that keeping the faith component, you know. Now, I listened to a really good podcast last week with Constantine Kisson and Tom Bilyeu. I think that's how you say it. Called Impact Theory. And it was three hours long and it was absolutely captivating. And what I found most captivating wasn't so much the the wokeism stuff or the conservatism slash liberalism slash progressivism, whatever you want to call it, although that was part of it. It was more to do with the, the growth mindset aspect and what Tom had to say about becoming the next Disney. That's kind of how he put it in those words. And that's how he sees his business growth. And that sometimes he's not sure about having discussions about politics on his YouTube channel and how he's built businesses and sold them. I think he said he'd sold three businesses, one of which sold for over a billion dollars. It's like... And the growth mindset idea is something that came up and inspired me a lot when I started following August Bradley. I think that's what inspired me the most about August Bradley's content is that growth mindset is a massive feature of what he's... What's he doing? He's putting out content about that on his YouTube and he's built this system in Notion which has growth mindset as a really big part of how to succeed. Now I very much struggle from a fixed mindset which is why following people like August and Ali Abdel to some extent and 
Tom Belieu, who's a new discovery for me. I think anyone who's, well, let's put Gary V in there as well, because Gary V was a big influence on me when I started building this channel and, you know, getting involved in content creation as, as a business. So all of these people who, who talk about growth mindset, it inspired me in a big way and I still want to hold on to that and I find myself slipping more into the fixed mindset mindset <laughs> uh, to coin a phrase badly and that's not who I want to be I want to be a growth mindset guy that's that's what I want my philosophy to be about So, and the other guy who inspires me a lot is Rob Hardy Rob Hardy's built a business based around the concept of a thousand true fans and around the idea of avoiding toxic marketing which is something that turns me off and it's kind of it's a bit hypocritical <laughs> the fact that I'm building a marketing channel on YouTube to sell products that are available on Amazon but I see that as purely a business endeavour like a job so you know I can get involved with that without feeling too bad I think so what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm building different channels expressing myself trying not to fear you know coming on camera or publishing my pages which I do every day I'm just about to write them now it's like what have I got to lose so that's why I spent money we didn't have on a new camera because I want my footage to be as good as it can be, particularly for the Child Scotland channel. So I need to learn how to work CineEI, S-Log3, etc. So that's why I'm here practicing on tape on a Tuesday morning. So that's me. Thanks for listening. See you in the next one. Bye.